Hey guys, we're at Tap Room 307 in New York City to learn how to make some of the best chicken wings you will ever put in your mouth. I'm Nick Leftley, and you're watching Maxim MasterChef. And we're here with Chef Kevin Gillespie, owner of Atlanta's awesomely named Gun Show. And we're gonna learn how to make Cherosco chicken wings because if you don't like chicken wings, you're a communist. If you don't like chicken wings, the terrorists win. That's what they always say. Churrasco chicken wings. Right. Churrasco, churrascaria, like the Brazilian steakhouse. Okay. I wanted to take that same idea and apply it to chicken wings because chicken wings are all American. And I wanted to incorporate another all American ingredient and it's uh, hard cider. This marinade's a little weird in that we're gonna use eggs to marinate chicken. You're cooking the animal in its own children. Yeah, exactly, exactly, but hey, it works, you know? I don't wanna argue with the experts. I'm fine with that. They actually developed this at Cornell University, so I, you know, they're way smarter than I am, so I'm just going with it. So first, we're gonna put the egg yolks in our food processor. And so we have some uh, spicy chilies, we have a little bit of black pepper, we have what they call poultry spices, so sage, oregano, things like that. You know, this is not a really spicy recipe. This is a little bit of a departure. There is a tiny bit of cayenne pepper in there, but okay. there's also just some chili powder. Totally simple to make at home. And this marinade can even just be stirred up in a bowl. You don't even have to do it in a food processor if you don't want to. We're gonna add our hard cider to it. Nice. And uh, the upside to the cider is that, although it's not necessarily sweet, the sugar in it's gonna help with the chicken wings. It's gonna add like kind of a crackly, glassy sort of caramelization on the outside of it. Just pour a little bit in there. I'm saving you some back here. And then we're gonna add just some basic uh, vegetable oil. This is gonna help it from sticking to the grill. It comes out almost like a thin mayonnaise. Nice. So we have our flats and our drumettes in here, and we're just gonna pour the rest of this marinade in the bag. Just try to get most of the air out there. We'll put that over on the side, and I like to let it marinate, if you can, overnight, that'd be great, uh, two or three hours at the, at the minimum. Okay. And when they come out of the marinade, they look like this right here. Through the magic of filmmaking, instantaneously chicken has come out of the bag and onto skewers. Speaking of skewers, we're doing it because, you know, when you throw a bunch of chicken wings on the grill, you generally throw a bunch of chicken wings in the grill. Yeah. Um, so this is gonna help us out a little bit here. We're alternating the drumettes and the flats. It's so that it sits flat. We kind of skewer them straight through here. I like to make it even too, just so that if you, you, know, you pull a skewer off, there's the nice mix. So drum, yeah. flat, drum, flat, basically. I do like to add just a little bit more salt before it goes on the grill. I like to start them at kind of this 45 degree angle because everyone's always super impressed with grill marks. And now these are gonna take 12 to 14 minutes to cook. Okay. We're gonna look for, to get some nice color before we turn them. The upside of the hard cider here is that little bit of sugar is gonna add a really nice color to it. And you can probably start seeing it already on these. So that's what we're looking for. I just tried to talk and dribble came out. <laughs> we'll give it a couple more minutes here and we'll flip them over. If you start to see them sizzle around the edge like that over there, you know you're looking good. How do you know when they're definitely cooked all the way through? Because you can't mess around with chicken. It's just usually the next day. If you're sick, then it, you didn't do it the right way. No. <laughs> Honestly, the way that you can tell with chicken wings, it's really easy. What you're waiting to see is for the clear juices to build at the edge of the joint. That's how you know they're fully cooked. And you don't need to stick a knife in to check no, it's in the middle? No, please, for the love of God, do not stick a knife in them. So we're starting to look pretty good here. And you see this like that. You can feel that right there. Will you put your finger there? It's not going to burn you. It might burn you. I've got no sensation left in that finger, and it's worth it. <laughs> this is the longest 14 minutes of my life, but... Yeah, <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> the way Gun Show works is there's actually no menu. You come in, you sit down, and food as it's ready, comes out of the kitchen by whoever made it. And we open at 6 p.m. and we know what we're making somewhere at about 5.50 every day. All right, All right, so I think we're about done here. Let's check them. They're great on their own, okay. but I think we need to kind of kick it up. We're gonna make apple chimichurri with hard cider. We're actually using uh, Angry Orchard, which is an American-made cider, and this is their crisp apple. Chimichurri is essentially a relish of onions, and oregano, sometimes peppers, sometimes not, um, mixed with lots of chopped parsley. In this bowl, I have chopped parsley and I have chopped fresh oregano, and I have a little bit of olive oil. In this bowl, I have a mixture of red onion, which I have right here. Okay. I have a little bit of garlic, and that's been minced up. I have some red wine vinegar, a little bit of hot pepper, and this is espalette pepper. And then we also have a little bit of dried oregano. So we're using oregano two times here, fresh and dried. And the last thing that we're gonna put in it is apple. We actually already have some in here, but I wanna show you this cool technique. This is one of the best inventions that ever came around. The box grater, not just for cheddar cheese anymore. We take our apple and we just grate it on the box grater here. And out comes these little apple pieces that we can just chuck in our sauce. I like to add a little bit more of our hard cider to this as well. Right, we don't, I mean, who cares? It's not, 
people are always like, did you cook the alcohol out of it? Absolutely not. It's gonna have the consistency of like um, a spoonable sort of salsa, basically. That's what you're going for here. So we're gonna put some on the side for us to enjoy. And you know, because we gotta do it up, we're gonna spoon <laughs> a little bit more of this apple cider chimichurri right over the top of it. That looks incredible. Now, what do you say we have a bite of these and a little bit of cider to go along with it? Go on then. I know, twist oh, your arm, I know, okay. let's do it, let's do Bye. it. Finally, we're at the table. We've got our cider, we've got our wings. Kevin, I believe you have some experience in chicken wing eating. I do. Um, when I was 18 years old, I won a chicken wing eating contest. I ate 300 of them in an hour. Um, so I'm kind of a pro at it. I actually have really good wing eating technique. Okay. And I'm gonna show you the technique for this. So, okay. um, and then obviously, we gotta have something, some sort of sessionable drink here. Salus. Cheers. So we got our hard cider. Which is delicious. I know, this, the crisp apple is so good. That's really good. So the technique for the wing eating on this is that you pop the bone out so that you can eat the whole thing in one shot. So, I'll show you. <laughs> so you split. Right, okay. so you pull this out. And then this thing goes in. What? That is, it comes out like that. That is magic. Yeah. Chicken wing magic. Just. Incredible. Right, they're pretty good. I mean, I realize I've made them, but uh, they're pretty good. You get that that the sugar in the cider kind of yeah, adds oh that gosh. little bit of sweetness to it, but not like terribly sweet. It's not like it's over the top or anything like that. Even if you don't love wings, you're gonna love it. Mm. Hi, I'm Patrick Carone, and today I'm going to be driving some chicken wings. I believe that was I, Nick, from Maxim, hereby declare Kevin Gillespie king of chicken wings. It's close enough. <laughs> it's like a pound of chicken. Uh-huh. <laughs> I swallowed a chicken wing whole. <laughs> Theoretically, it's just going to shoot straight through you and come out the other <laughs> side. <laughs> it's too good.